So we're going to take it up to five pairs of electrons in the valence shell. So we've got this AB5 molecule. So they're looking a little bit more strange now. You can see your five pairs of electrons, so these five covalent bonds between A and B. One, two, three, four, five. These pairs of electrons are all going to repel each other because they're negatively charged. So what sort of a shape are we going to get with five pairs of electrons? So if I show you the model, it looks like this. So this is the most complicated one we've seen so far. Let's try and break it down for you. We've got three of the bonds in a sort of central triangular shape. Okay, so that's actually, if we took them off, we've got a trigonal planar molecule, haven't we? So the bond angle in there would be 120 degrees between these bonds here. But we've also got one sticking straight up, and we've also got a bond sticking straight down. So there's your five bonds, so three around the middle in a triangular shape, one sticking straight up and one sticking straight down. So I'm going to attempt to draw this for you now, so if you watch carefully how I draw it, hopefully it'll make sense. Right, so to help I've taken two of the bonds off, so at the moment I've only got three of the bonds on, and you can see by the way the models lie in, on the whiteboard, they're all in the same plane. So we're going to show that on the diagram. So we'll put the A in the middle. We've got a B sticking straight up. That's that one there. Got a B coming straight out like that. And we've got a B going straight down. Okay, so let's add the next bond. So we've got that one on there. So that is sticking out of the board, so if you remember we use a wedge to signify that. Okay, just shade that in. And the final one, that's obviously I can't lay it flat anymore because this is sticking in the way, so this bond is going back so that's how you would draw this shape. We've got two bond angles to worry about now. We've got bond angles within this central trigonal planar shape. So that's that one there, that one there, and that one around there. So I'll just go for this one, it's the easiest one to get to. So that's 120 degrees. And then we've got a bond angle there, which is the same as a bond angle there. So that would be, so the first bond angle is within the central trigonal planar shape, and then we've got this bond angle here, okay, from the vertical to the horizontal. Now that's obviously 90 degrees, so we'll put that one in there, okay. So two bond angles in this shape. I haven't said what the shape's called yet. It's got a lovely name this one, trigonal, because of the triangular middle section. So it's called a trigonal by pyramid. Okay, trigonal by pyramid. So the actual example I'm going to use is a molecule called phosphorus pentachloride, that's PCl5, five chlorines bonded to a central phosphorus atom, covalently bonded, so you can see there's the five pairs of electrons in the valence shell. Phosphorus is in group five, so these five crosses represent phosphorus's five valence electrons, outer electrons. Chlorines in group seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So each of those chlorine atoms has got seven electrons in its valence shell. This is the shell we're interested in. So five pairs, so we know the rule from the previous slide. 
So let's draw that central phosphorus atom straight up. So straight across to the left, straight down. We've got one sticking out of the board. Do that as a shaded wedge and one going back. Bond angle, 120 around the middle and 90 degrees between this horizontal one and the vertical and it's a trigonal bipyramid. So the last one we're going to look at in this section is a molecule, a simple covalent molecule with six pairs of electrons in the valence shell, so AB6. So you can see there's the six pairs of electrons in the valence shell. They are all repelling each other, so they're wanting to get as far apart as possible. So what is going to be the shape that they will adopt? I'll show you the molecule, the model. So it looks like this. Okay. And we're going to try and draw that. So if I just leave that like that, let's try and draw one. So obviously we need the A in the middle. And I'm going to show these two bonds first. So they're in the same plane as each other, these two bonds here. Whoops, you can't see a thing there, can you? These bonds are in the same plane. So we're going to go B, B, and then I'm going to show these two bonds that are both sticking out. Sticking out is represented by a solid wedge, so there and there. So these two are sticking out, and these two are going back. So we need a dotted line for those. And so it would be drawn like that. The bond angle between all of these atoms is the same. So it doesn't matter whether it's the same within the central section or between the vertical section. And you can see from the model that all the bond angles, no matter which way I turn it around, the bond angles are all the same. And hopefully you can see just by looking at it that the bond angles are 90 degrees, all of them. So they're all 90 degrees. The name of the shape is octahedral. So that's an octahedral shape. So here's the example I'm going to use for the six pairs of electrons in the valence shell. Molecule SF6 sulfur hexafluoride simple covalent molecule so you can see there the fluorine each fluorine has one two three four five six seven electrons in its outermost shell sulfur is in group six so you should be able to see six crosses one two three four five six making those six covalent bonds so we Apply the rule, we've just learnt that six pairs of electrons adopts the octahedral shape, so let's try and draw it. Sulfur in the middle, bond straight up, bond straight down, two sticking out, shown by the solid wedge, and two going back, shown by the dotted line. So that looked a bit too solid there. So there's the molecule, and the, all the bond angles are the same, so I'll go for that one. They're all 90 degrees, and that would be an octahedral molecule. So just to summarise, I've got them all on one, all the shapes and angles on one board. So if you have two pairs of electrons in the valence shell, they will repel each other to get as far apart as possible, adopt the linear shape, and have that 180 degree bond angle. Three pairs of electrons in the valence shell all repel each other to get as far apart as possible. Trigonal planar shape 
120 degrees, four pairs of electrons in the valence shell, adopt a tetrahedral shape with that unusual bond angle 109.5 degrees, five pairs of electrons in the valence shell, adopts this trigonal bipyramidal shape which has two bond angles 120 degrees around the middle, that central trigonal planar element to the shape and a 90 degree bond angle between the vertical and the horizontal and six pairs of electrons in the valence shell adopts an octahedral shape and all of the bond angles are 90 degrees.